Hey guys, Pro1701 here, and today we are going to talk about the Ice Warriors. So, another It's Armageddon video. Um, so let's say Armageddon's happening and you can only pick two Ice Warrior stories to save. While you're rummaging through getting food, water, you only have enough time to reach over and grab maybe two stories of Doctor Who. Let's just say hypothetically they're individual, they're all done individually like Classic Who. I don't know why, but let's do that. Which two story, which two Ice Warrior stories would you save? And we're only going to do two because there's not as many Ice Warrior stories as there are like, you know, Daleks, Cybermen, etc., etc., etc. So between the classic and the modern stories, which two would you keep? Um, I knew the first one on my list was going to be The Seeds of Death. I really like The Seeds of Death a lot. It's probably my favorite Ice Warrior story. Uh, Troughton's really good in it. The Ice Warriors are really good in it. I watched that one again. Not Well, it's been a few months now. Um... <clears throat> really like the cliffhanger when they're in the rocket. Like a lot of the people up on the base who are slowly getting picked off as they're doing everything they can to survive. Like the one guy who rigs up the thing that uh, kills one of the Ice Wars, the little ring around it that kills one of them. And then uh, I think he's also the one that manages to keep the rocket from crashing and saving the others before he gets killed. Then you have the kind of pansy guy who's just terrified the whole time and he's kind of helping the ice warriors just because he's scared even though at the end of the day he does the right thing and sadly gets killed too you can some people are just like that some people are just that you know when it when it comes to it and the pressure's down they they just get afraid they just they can't help it they get afraid um so i felt really bad for that guy the whole story uh i just really like the seeds of death I think it's much better than the actual original story with the Ice Warriors, which was just called the Ice Warriors. I like the Ice Warriors, the story. It just, it seems uninteresting, a lot of it. Uh, it just seems like it drags on. I'm trying to remember. I think the Ice Warriors is a six-parter. Is that right? I think it's a six-parter, with two and three being animated. And it just seems to drag on too long. Um... Plus, it's got Victoria in it. I'm not the biggest fan of Victoria. I know some people love Victoria. I don't really get into Victoria. Um, Troughton is good in it. Jamie's good in it. Um, I really like the one guest actor with the white hair, the one that's kind of running the complex. He's very stern, very by the book. But for some reason, the actor does a really good job portraying him. And I, I found I really liked him. The animation in the Ice Warriors is pretty good, too. I like the animation in episodes two and three. Uh, except for the Ice Warriors themselves. Something about the way their mouth moves look, looks a little weird. But other than that, I think the animation's really good. Probably the closest we had to what the animations look like now out of the old animations, the pre-power animations. Um, the second one was a little trickier because um, it was just hard to pick. Because I like... Like, uh, from the, the two new st Who stories they've been in, the two modern series stories, I really enjoy both of Cold War and uh, Empress of Mars. Cold War I like. Um, we actually get to see the sonic screwdriver use the red setting. That's pretty neat. It has David Warner in it. I like David Warner. Uh, it really does kind of have this base under siege thing going on, but it's in a submarine, so you have all the claustrophobia of a submarine in there. So it's kind of nice to see these really in tight places um i really like the ice warrior in it i like it's i think it's kind of neat how the ice warrior comes out of his armor in it um it's not something i would want to see done often or necessarily even ever again but as a one-off it works really really well uh plus it gives us a good reason for why the ice warrior's armor looks kind of cheesy hokey like you know because it's from classic who uh, because they actually do decide that that is armor they're wearing. That's not actually their skin. It is actually a suit of armor they get in. By making that cannon, it gives you a reason for to, to keep that kind of classic design without having to update it for the modern show like they tried to do with the with the uh, Silurians. Failed miserably, I might add. I don't care for the modern series Silurian design at all. Um, so this gives them a reason to keep the Classic Who design, but give an explanation why it looks a little Classic Who-y, so to speak, by making it armor. So I really like it just for that. And then, of course, uh, Empress from Mars. I really enjoy Empress from Mars. It's really, really good. Um, I like the script. I like the directing. I like the execution. I think Capaldi is good in it. I like uh, that one soldier, the one that tried to run away and desert. I like him. I think he's acted well. 
the woman playing the Empress in it does a really good job. And I like the guy playing the other Ice Warrior, the one that's the main Ice Warrior that's been, that been there with the missing eye. I like him. Uh, and again, the Ice Warriors aren't necessarily the bad guy in this. It's another one where they're kind of painted in that shades of gray area. You kind of understand they're the ones, technically, they're the ones whose home is being invaded, so naturally they're going to defend it. Uh, I really like the Empress of Mars. But the one I'm going to go with is uh, Curse of Peladon. Even though the Ice Warriors aren't so much the selling point of it, I just, I do consider it an Ice Warriors episode because they are heavily in it. Um, <clears throat> I just really like Curse of Peladon a lot. <clears throat> I think David Troughton is great as the king. I think uh, Joe and uh, John are fantastic, like they almost always are in it. Uh, I like that it's a murder mystery going on. Um, and I like the fact that the third doctor, because of his prior experience with the Ice Warriors, has a hard time seeing past the possibility of the Ice Warriors not being the culprit. I mean, he immediately thinks the Ice Warriors are the ones causing all the problems. Or not, maybe not immediate media, but he's blaming the Ice Warriors for it just because of his previous experiences with them. So it's kind of neat to see the Doctor having this preconceived notion of not really taking time to review the evidence for a little while. And it's kind of neat that even for us as the audience who are used to the Ice Warriors being the bad guys, to see them not the bad guys. The Ice Warriors are actually good guys in this story. And it's a nice little spin on expectations for the third Doctor and for us. So I really enjoy that. Um... I think Alpha Centauri's outfit's a little unfortunate. But I love the fact they got the voice actress to do, who did her in Curse of Peladon to come back and do her in um, Empress of Mars. That's really nice. They actually got the same voice actress. Uh, that was pretty neat. But yeah, I, I do enjoy Curse of Peladon. I think Katie, I think Katie Manning does some really good acting here. As uh, You can definitely tell the king is very obviously interested in her and her and David uh, go really well off each other. And I really like the uh, sword fight with John down in like the cage um supposedly the film elements from that still exist they're trying to find them i hope they do so uh yeah curse of peladon so if you could only save two stories from the ice warriors which two would you save and why and what do you think of my choices i would like to know so comment down below and tell me what you think you know i always enjoy interacting with you guys and finding out your opinions on stuff other things to do click the like button click the subscribe button click the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video uh, i've also started a patreon if you would like to become one of my patrons there's a link to that down below uh you can join at just uh the beginner level if you like the entry level which is only two dollars a month so if you like my channel and would like to uh, support what i do check that out it would really make my day most importantly though stay safe out there and thank you for watching.